just wanted to share my excitement over this package I just received. I took off the label, um, but I'm just about to open it. It's from European Cross Stitch Company, and not sure if I'll be able to rip this off. Ah. Basically, this is my first Chatelaine cross stitch kit. Uh, I purchased the pattern from Martina Rosenberg on um, her designer website. And this is the kit. Uh, it's on selfie mode, so it's backwards. Okay, so comes this little bow. Oh, that's cool. So that it's for the Frosty Knot Garden. All right, I'm going to take off the bow and all right, so there's a little bit of tape here. Take that off and on this nice little package. All right, let's see what we've got. So I already have the DMC cotton floss. I um, did a small Michaels run when they had a sale a couple weeks ago. And looks like this is the bead pack. So it looks like there are just enough for um, stitching this design. And so there's different kinds. Um, these are all Delica beads. It looks like size 11. And up here, more Delica beads. It's kind of hard to see, but these look like um, crystals. So some of them are cubic and some of them are, um, I think they're called bicones. But it's called a mint alabaster, alexandrite, and white opal cubic. How cool are those? And I think these ones are not the regular ones either. They're long. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> okay, so now the threads. Ooh. Okay, it looks like it comes with a... Um, little pack of beading thread, probably a Nemo or Nimo, whatever you call it. And then, ooh. So all of the threads are packed away on a ring, in little nice uh, floss away bags. So we've got gold metallic and what's this called? So this is petite treasure braid. And it's really lovely to work with. Some more more metallics. That one's kind of a rosy metallic color. This one's more of a silver and darker, like more chrome silver and purple. Yes, purple. I love purple. Okay, now we're on to the silks. This one's a light green, variegated. Karen Water Lilies silk. Uh, more. This is this is kind of a white silk. And now we're getting to the silken colors from the Thread Gatherer. So that one's a coastal seaweed. You see, it's kind of a mix of greens, lavender haze. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. So this is a dinky dyes. Those are, looks like kind of more um, smooth. That one's called ghost gum. How cool is that? Okay. And native plum, sage, cobblestone, and Spanish moss. All right, let's check out what fabric. I asked for um, 
white 32 count Jobalon or Lugana. I think this is a Jobalon, which is awesome. Um, my other projects I've used antique white, but for this I wanted to use plain white. So the weave is very consistent and it's a soft fabric. Um, it's very white. That's awesome. So that's exactly what I wanted. And one other thing, some of the colors um, from the Thread Gatherer have been discontinued. So what um, Cecilia has done is offer some of the Chatelaine stitchers on our um, Facebook group a special um, custom order on her Etsy store. So here's what um, I ended up getting. I, I got a few of the colors just so um, in the future if I decide to um, stitch the patterns that require the discontinued colors that I'll have them in my stash. Uh, this one's called Hidden Canyon. It's a very blurry camera, sorry. This is like one of my favorites. It's called Huckleberry Cheesecake. So yeah, it's kind of a, I don't know, light, light purple, blue, just really um, subtle variegation. Um, I didn't realize the lavender haze would, would be ready for the, um, the kit, so I ended up getting two of those, and um, one more is in the kit, so I'll, I'll use that one for Frosty Knot Garden, and then um, these other ones can be used on a future project, because I, I know they've been used in different um, designs. This one, too. This one's uh, Blue Sage. And these are just the regular silken colors. The other one, um, that were, the other threads that were discontinued were the silken pearl. So this is kind of like um, a pearl cotton, but well, pearl silk um, in a size 10. So it's not like the ones in the store that are size five, they're um, thinner than that. So I wasn't really sure what kind of floss could be uh, substituted for this. So it's really good that Cecilia was doing um, extra um, special orders just for us. Um, this other one is called Sea Heather. That one's pretty cool. It's kind of a mix of like a really light brown or copper, light blue and greens, kind of uh, all together. Yeah, that sounds silk and pearl. It's backwards, but um, you can kind of see it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, heirloom blue, the two packages, in with my Frosty Nart Garden kit. And then the others um, I'll have to save for later. I think the blue sage was for um, Swan Lake Mandala. And that one is gorgeous and huge. And maybe in the future when I get... Uh, couple hundred dollars to spare. <laughs> we'll kit that one up. But for now, I will have to figure out if, um, if I'm going to stitch this on my Q-snaps or try to find a scroll frame wide enough to accommodate uh, however big it's going to be. I think it's eight, 14 inches something exposed area. So um, it'll fit on my Q-snaps, but um, Currently I have an 11 inch project and it's kind of difficult to reach the top because my arm gets caught underneath. So yeah, um, that's my new kit. I just opened it and I'm really excited. Uh, all the sparkly metallic threads and everything are um, very exciting. And that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of one called. It's called um, White something. I don't remember. But there are four cards of it. <laughs> the, the silver one, there are two cards. But um, the others only have one, so there are probably less stitches of those. And um, wow, yeah, so we have six, twelve, 13, 
15, 16, something different types of beads. I mean, different colors and then a couple different types. Which, oddly enough, I think I actually have that color. <laughs> but um, it's really nice how they're all uh, already counted and just kind of in their own little containers. So I can, um... yeah, so I'm out. Bye.